from 1983, this is Kangaroo for the Atari 2600. The video computer system version of the 1982 arcade game, which is very similar to Nintendo's Donkey Kong, but it has a kangaroo! And kangaroos make everything better. Even stew. That was obnoxious. I apologize to all kangaroos listening. You've got to have mad respect for any animals that can wear boxing gloves and punch out monkeys. Kangaroos, and they have pockets, and shoes named after them, which also have pockets for quarters that you could use to play kangaroo in the arcade, but quarters won't help you on the Atari. You just have to press start or, or reset, <laughs> as the case would be. Anyway, I'm not really sure of the storyline, but it seems like you're trying to climb the ladders to rescue a little kangaroo. Presumably your son, daughter, precious robot kangaroo. I don't know. This is a jacket find video game cartridge. That's right, I found it in a jacket. So I was uh, cleaning out closets in my house one day, and we found this game cartridge in a jacket that was about to go to Goodwill. I hadn't worn it in about 12 years. I have no idea why there was a kangaroo video game cartridge in an old jacket. Presumably because we were going to review it on the original classic game room show back in 2000. The dates would line up for that. But for whatever reason, that jacket was retired and shoved into the back of a closet forever. And through a move, I have no idea how this happened. But we have the game cartridge saved before it went to Goodwill. The jacket's gone. Kangaroo lives forever. Oh, Susanna, there's a kangaroo coming for you. Great song. I previously reviewed Kangaroo for the Atari 5200. It's actually one of the better Atari 5200 games available. It's been a while since I've played it, but this is obviously a more condensed version. But still a competent Atari 2600 game. In fact, it's pretty good. But it could really use two buttons. You use the one button on the Atari controller to punch, and you push up to jump. So jumping over the platforms can be tricky. In fact, that's where I lose this game horribly. You've got to be very precise with your jumping. Take that, monkey. There's a variety of different ways to score points and lots of different things trying to kill you. Watch out for the block bouncing from the ceiling. <laughs> the objective is simple. Climb the ladders and get out of there as quickly as possible before the bonus runs out. You can punch monkeys for points, collect fruit, and then ring the bell, which causes Big Ben to chime. That then regenerates fruit as fruit worth more points. So you can attempt to go back for more expensive fruit or just escape before your bonus depletes. I think that thing's a pineapple. It's worth 800 points. I'm going to collect that and then get out of here. I played uh, a number of games for this review, and they all ended up pretty much with the same score. <laughs> Kangaroo is tricky, but a lot of fun. If you collect for the Atari 2600, I'll definitely recommend Kangaroo. It doesn't look great, but it looks good enough to get the job done, and I think this is a solid programming effort for the Atari 2600. I just flattened my kangaroo. Even during editing here, it looks like I should have made that jump. Come on, he's a kangaroo. Can't he jump higher than that? It's kangaroo, highly recommended for the Atari 2600.